here at the Commerce Casino, catching up with super lightweight contender Javier Molina. Javier was officially announced earlier this evening. You're taking on a young, hungry prospect by the name of Kane Sandoval on February 23rd at Shumash Casino. Talk to us about what this fight means. Yeah, man, I'm excited. I've been in camp already for about two months. We got a month left. So uh, we're, we're ready. We've been uh, preparing for Kane Sandoval. I know they're, they're moving him up. Uh, he's 11 0, 11 knockouts. But this is the type of fight I needed, man. I put myself in this position. I felt like at this point in my career, I should be fighting um, uh, at a higher level. So that a lot of people are, are I feel like, are under, underestimating me, putting me against King Sandoval, thinking, um, I don't know if they think I'm a stepping stone or what, but he's got another thing coming if they, if they think that's what's going to happen. What do you remember as a young fighter you saw when you were 9 0 at the time? You know, thinking the sky's the limit for you, and, and, and let's just say it's the total opposite. If you were to face someone in the position you're in right now, with, with close to 30 fights, you fought world titles, contenders, you name it, you've been up there against a young man like Kane Sandoval. Why Why does this company, the, promo, the promotion thing, that they all be able to pitch? Yeah, obviously, I mean, he has a lot of confidence in himself. Like I said, uh, he's been in there, he's been doing what he has to do, he's got these guys out of there, but they've been lower level. Uh, I mean, I feel like my mentality now is completely different than when I was when I was coming up. I was coming up. Uh, just getting experience alone, um, maturity. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes um, outside of the ring when I was in my career. That's that's part of the reason why I feel like I, I am where I am right now. But uh, I made I, I made those changes, uh, those corrections, and um, I feel like uh, like after this fight, um, I, I'm gonna put my name back in the mix, and um, and I just feel like. Um, I, I got. I still got a lot more to give in the sport. At 140 pounds, I know there's a lot of killers in there, and um, and that's uh, that's why I'm gonna go after every one of them after I beat this guy. So all it takes is to be to show the world, to show all those promoters out there that you still got it beating a young undefeated prospect like Kane Sandoval, right? That's that's what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Because I didn't want to come back and fight a nobody and then um, just be a, a beat a nobody. So I wanted to fight somebody that that that, that they actually thought. I mean, a lot of people actually think he, he's gonna beat me. So. Uh, Beating a, a guy like that, I mean, I think it's gonna open a lot of people's eyes, knowing that I, that, that I'm a real threat in this division, um, and it's gonna do a lot for me. So I'm excited, I'm motivated, and I've been training real hard, man. Even though you have five losses, uh, Javier, you've never been stopped, man. You've always gone the distance. Yeah. Do you, do you, in your, in your, in your own words, you think Kane Sandoval thinks that you he may stop you uh, on, on the 23rd? I mean, he's been saying that. I mean, that's, that's, I feel like that's what, what he that, says. What was the he's face of like uh, earlier today? I don't know. Like, I don't even know exactly. He has said something like, I don't know. I don't know if he's trying to intimidate me, scare me. But man, come on, man. I've been in this game way too long. Ain't nobody gonna be scary, man. That's why I told him. I just told him, man, you ain't gonna scare anybody. And dude, I don't have know you what he was saying. Nah, this is the first time I met him. Yeah, I've never met him, but I've seen his videos before. He's, he's a little cocky, but I mean, that's his. That's his persona, that's his character. So I wasn't surprised that he was trying to run his mouth, but I know it's part of the game, but uh, that's not gonna help him in the ring. Just like you said, he's faced, okay, he's 21 years old, he's faced lower, lower opposition, but you've been with the likes of Pedraza, man. Uh, Ramos, Imam, Ramos yeah. you name it, your last fight took yeah. place in England almost uh, two years ago. Yeah. But you've been out there with the, with the top dogs. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I fought bigger, stronger guys than Kane Sandoval, more experienced. Like Ramos, when I fought him, he was 15 or 14 knockouts, and I fought him almost two weight classes above my division. Ramos is a 154 pounder, I'm a 140 pound yeah. pounder. I mean, I've been, and he, he didn't do anything to me. Um, I've been fighting, I, mean, I, I started off actually in my career at 147. Okay. Um, and he, I think, I believe he's just has a couple fights at 140. He's never gone past six rounds right. because he's five. And this is a 10 rounder. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I feel like they they are trying to move the kid up quick, but they made it. They made a mistake by by choosing me. Um, I feel like uh, they probably think um, since I haven't fought in a year and a half that maybe I'm done. Maybe you I don't want it as bad. You don't but have it in you. yeah, maybe they, they think I, I might not want it as bad as I did. But man, they got they got it wrong because I want it more now than than I ever did. So uh, I'm excited for it. I'm put on the show and uh, those people that don't think I have a chance are gonna be really surprised man. What type of changes did you make then to improve your life overall? Everything like even my last fight like a year and a half uh, when I fought I had my fight when I fought in London um, I had a six week notice I ended up losing like oh, close to 30 pounds wow. um, at six weeks. And you shouldn't be doing that as a fighter. No right? and, it, and it showed in my fight because my legs were I still thought I won. I, I, I took the fight it was a 10 round fight I heard him a, a few times uh, but I just couldn't take it 
advantage of him. I, I felt like I, my legs were gone. I mean, it was so much weight, little time. This fight, um, I've been slimming down. I've been been good with my weight, so that's not gonna be a problem. My preparation is good, and, and and I respect that for giving me plenty of time to get ready. I had close to 12 weeks to get ready for this fight, so double than I did my last fight. So um, I'm gonna You're be good, man. Yeah, man. You're I'm like telling you, know, fight night I still, shit. I still got a, still got a month left, so okay. yeah, man. Uh, and just with every, everything um, together, my technique, my skills, my mentality, everything, I feel like it's gonna be too much for this kid. All right, so cannot wait, man. I'll be there uh, uh, supporting and, and w covering this event. And February 23rd can come soon enough, man. Yeah, Shout for out sure, to man. all your people from yeah. Uh, Norwalk. Yeah, shout out to everybody from Norwalk, the city I grew up in. Um, everybody that's uh, supporting me, tune in. UFC Fight Pass, February 23rd. It's gonna be a show. There you go. Kay Sandoval versus Javier Molina. Do not want to miss it. Thanks very much, yeah. Javier.